Hey. Are you ready for the ASPS vlog? Absolutely, let's do this. What's on your schedule for today? Breast augmentation, tummy tuck with liposuction, and rhinoplasty. And what's your most popular procedure? Breast augmentations and tummy tucks. Why is that? Immediate results. Is there a unique Austin look? Natural and fit. How long have you been in Austin? I grew up here and then came back in 2002 to start my practice. If you had to play tour guide, what are three things someone visiting Austin needs to experience? Walk around Town Lake and see the city. Uh, country music at Stubbs and then eat at Taco Deli. If you're not in the OR, is that where we're going to find you? I've got three kids, two of which daughters that cheer and a son that plays golf. If I'm not watching them, my druthers are to be on the golf course. You can see I've got, I'm a big golf fan, I've got a Masters flag signed by two-time champion Ben Crenshaw and then Ryder Cup team that he captained as well. What's your handicap? I'm about an eight. And what's your favorite course? Austin Country Club. Tell me a question that you don't get from patients that they should be asking. Are you board certified in plastic surgery? And what's your most frequently asked questions from patients? When can I sign up? What's your best beauty advice for a patient? Wear sunscreen, even on a cloudy day. What's the best advice you've received from a fellow plastic surgeon? Just because you can doesn't mean you should. And what's your single most amazing advancement in plastic surgery in the last 10 years? New breast implants and Exporel. How do you feel it's improved patient outcomes? Less pain means less recovery and less downtime. Uh, back to their activities and work faster. What's the most memorable thing a patient has said to you? You gave me my life back. What's one thing that you'd want everyone to know about the specialty? Lots of different procedures, so make sure you know all the different options for you. What you trends do you feel are emerging in plastic surgery? Most things that are more non-invasive that have to do with less downtime. How are these changes impacting patients? Quicker recovery, quicker back to work or back to their activities. Finish this sentence for me. Plastic surgery in the future looks like? More natural results. And if you were researching plastic surgeons, what are you looking for? Board certified in plastic surgery, good reviews, good photos, and a nice person. In your experience, what procedure more than any other have patients been satisfied with? Tummy tucks with liposuction. What's the biggest misconception about plastic surgery? It's only for rich people. And if you weren't a plastic surgeon, what would you be? Maybe a chef. How many times should a patient consult with a plastic surgeon before committing to surgery? Just once if they're happy and they feel like they've gotten their questions answered. Otherwise, as many as it takes. And what's one thing you'd want to warn all patients about? Cheap plastic surgery isn't always good, and good plastic surgery isn't always cheap. And what's one thing you enjoy the most about being a plastic surgeon? Making patients feel better. Thanks, Dr. Hayden. All right, see you all next time.